Number nine. Yes, I am very well aware to clear the hostiles. Thank you for keeping me informed. Okay. So I'm just going to rush this because we've been in this area for far too long. We're going to kill this thing. <laughs> We're just going to kill this thing. Part nine. Halo four. Let's go. And we're dead already. At least we sacrifice ourselves. <laughs> At least we sacrifice ourselves, you know, blowing up the very thing that we wanted to do. As usual. And as always. Okay, so just one sticky. You're not even caring! You don't even care. Mammoth holding position. Whenever you're ready to proceed, Chief. Okay, let's uh let me let me take my actually no, we're not. Sorry. Sorry, ghost. Gypsy company moving out. Okay, finally, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that, that area took a while, but we made it. Got the wheel. Going on a trip in our favorite mammoth ship. Uh, one over not 1,800 miles away is the thing that looks like a really cool uh, thing, but it probably belongs to the didact. Therefore. It's boring as ass. I see the shadow over there that is led to stuff. I'm gonna take your sniper rifle. Because <laughs> I love sniper rifles. And then we kill you with the railgun. And also the. <laughs> Ah, uh, well. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, da. There's ammo right there. The mammoth won't last long out in the open like that. We'll have to find a way to keep the covenant off them. All right, let's get in this. Let's do this thing. Goss hog, go. Goss hog. Goss hog. <laughs> this is the imp. The one that is based on the EMP. <laughs> the Goss hog is pretty cool. I really like. I really like the Goss hog. Much like all the weapons of Halo. I, I like all the weapons of Halo. Also, you what, mate? You what? Get him. Kill them, my brothers. Killing my arm, my armed and dangerous men, or my armed and dangerous men. <laughs> Wait, did you just shoot? Did you just shoot your own guy? I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure he shot his own dude. Like, oh my god, man! Did you just shoot your own? <laughs> I, I can't get over that. You can't. You you, you, can, you just can't do that. Or rather, you can with these. But this is cool. But this is cool, though. Like, I wouldn't let the other guy drive for my life. Like, pretty much what I've learned. But I would seriously... I would seriously let me drive. Because I have better driving skills. Because I know, I know that. Because this one time, I stopped on a multiplayer match. And, uh, I stopped the Warthog on a multiplayer match. match. Like, basically... Oh. Like, basically, uh, I was in a match with my friends, Halo with the boys. And I, uh, was driving one of my, one of my friends on the Warthog. Like, it was, it was, it was a whole thing. Like, it was crazy. It was super duper crazy. 
And, uh, it was on a Halo Reach map, by the way. Um, one of the Halo Reach maps that's, like, really, really high up. Well, not really high up, but it had the, uh, sort of Blood Gulch-esque background. I don't really know what it was. But, basically, long story short of it, because I can't really word stories right, is that I don't know how to drive Warthogs. I only know how to drive, then stop, and drive, and stop. So, I am so dumb with driving war- Dumb when driving Warthogs, basically. Don't ever go with me, because I'll just stop to get my directions bearing straight, and then all my friends will yell at me and be like, Forward! 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 That's how it works. Okay, uh, what am I supposed to be neutralizing, though? Cause- Oh! Oh no! A double oh no! Uh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm good. There we go. All I have left is the battle rifle. Oh, God! <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't notice it right there, buddy. Didn't notice ya. So is this supposed to be the bootleg version of, uh, Sabotage the Scarab? Because I'm pretty sure it is that's how it's supposed to work then okay then I guess I'll I guess I'll do this but I'm picking up the needles because the needles are really good actually okay uh, okay good checkpoint achieved that's all I can ever ask for is to achieve checkpoint Bye. <laughs> Hello. I said, oh, wait, nope. Not going to do that. Because I know I'm about to be killed. Uh, where's the, oh, <laughs> give me my bearing straight. Where, where was the, where was the staircase? Oh, hello. Do you want to be no scope? Because I can help you with that. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to do it with the plasma pistol. Okay. That should have done it. I guess. Wait. Did that do it? Or am I supposed to actually take it on with powerful shots? No, I can't really do that with the sniper rifle because I know I'm dead with that. Okay, there we go. That did it. Time to make an exit. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's, uh... Okay, jetpack. I know, Mom! Jesus! And there it is. There we go. Bye, bitch. Ha! Thanks, Chief. It was getting a bit dicey there for a minute. All hands form up on us. Lasky, this is Infinity. Status. Mammoth's in pretty bad shape, sir. She'll make it to the objective as long as nobody starts throwing rocks at us. Got the wheel. Not a chance we can take. I'm sending teams out to pull some of their fire off you so you can make it to the gravity well. Roger that, sir. Gypsy, let's move. Shadow Company, Castle Company. Put some pressure on those other particle cannons. Castle, reading 555. On station, ready to assist. Shadow actual to infinity. Encountering enemy air. Significant EOF closer to the emplacements. Okay, folks. Terrain's too rough around these tributaries. Assault force, back on the mammoth. Anyone not on board is getting left behind. All right, seal her up. 
Mammoth is mobile. I am ready. Maybe we can finally they Ah! Don't care about you. They replaced you. Blast it. It's okay. How? How is this okay? How is putting you at risk because I can't hold it together? Okay. Chief, do you even understand what rampancy is? Really? We don't just shut down. Our cognitive processes begin dividing exponentially according to our total knowledge base. We literally think ourselves to death. You know I won't let that happen. And if it happens anyway? See, I like this. Like, this stuff with Chief and Cortana, I actually kind of like because... Wait, hang on. Go, Commander. We got significant blockage up ahead. I think this is about it for the mammoth. The command post for the particle cannons is through that trench. Sir, I can move faster alone. We'll see you back on Infinity, Commander. Lasky out. Okay. Yeah, see, this is... See, this is, this is the kind of stuff that I really wanted to see out of Halo, like, honestly. Like, more character, you know? Like, not that I wasn't looking for character or anything, because, you know... The gameplay is really where it's at. But, you know, really the only character that I really cared about when he died, spoilers, was, uh, you know, Sergeant Johnson. I liked him. He had a personality. He had a personality to him. Like, he was like the, he was like the you know, drill sergeant character, I guess. But it's something. Like, to be honest, it was, it really was something. It wasn't nothing. It was something. And you know, Cort Cortana and Chief's chemistry, you know, it was it was it was cute, but you know, nothing really ah, uh, nothing really too groundbreaking or anything like that. I mean, Jesus, but you know, for what it's worth, for what it is worth in this game, since Cortana is like, you know, reaching rampancy, which basically means death, I guess. Um, it basically gives Chief a reason to actually want to communicate, you know, talk with her rather than just, you know, talk with her about, you know, missions, making one-liners, you know, whatever. I mean, the whole, that whole thing, you know, I was okay with, but this, this Chief and Cortana stuff, now that they actually do have a reason to talk is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. And it perfectly makes sense because, you know, it's been such a long time since their first, since Chief and Cortana's first mission. It, it's been like a very long time. So obviously since time has passed and the AIs can only, you know, go for, can only operate for so long. They even touched upon that in Red vs. Blue. You know, that makes sense. It totally makes sense that Chief would actually has a re would have a reason to, you know, communicate with... Cortana and stuff, and that's what I'm looking for. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. And, uh, speaking of that whole thing about red versus blue, yeah, so... In the time in between, you know, all the crazy stuff that's been going on in the world, I've been able to catch up on RVB. Like, at this point, season 18 is being hyped up, which is called rvb zero which i probably guess that's a thing because some of the key members of rvb got fired or left the team like i know for a fact that bernie that you know bernie like i'm not really one to discuss this sort of thing there's like whole lots of it whole lots of videos of that like bernie basically left the show in season 10 or left the writing staff in season 10 and now he's left Rooster Teeth, as well as Joel, who voices Caboose. And, uh, I guess it's, like, time for new, fresh blood, I guess, to run the show. Like, we don't even know what it's gonna, what the season is gonna be about yet. All we know is it's gonna be, you know, totally different from, you know, from the uh, usual Red versus Blue team. Like, the Reds with Sarge... Donut, 
Ka uh, not Caboose. <laughs> yeah, Caboose is basically friends with everybody. Uh, Simmons, Simmons, Griff, you know, all that good, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, the Blues with, with Tucker, Sister, uh, yeah, Tucker, Sister, Caboose, and, uh, yeah. And I feel like season, season, season 17, if you're going to go with the route of time travel, it's probably the perfect sort of stopping point because Donut got a Donut, Wash, and in Carolina, they got a lot of, they got a lot of character development in that, in that particular season. Like, I'm just going to say this right now. I am very much agree in agreement with everybody else at the Chorus Trilogy, which was seasons 11 through 13. That was some of the best stuff, honestly. Like, season 11, like, I appreciate it now more than when I first did. Because after all that crazy, crazy stuff in season 10, where you get the Project Freelancer story, and also, you know, the RVB, the red-blue shenanigans. Well, not really the red-blue shenanigans, because they were on a mission this time around. Like, after all that crazy, crazy stuff, I get to do that again. Good! Yes! Oh yes, I get. Oh, I get to start over again. Good. Okay, I got a checkpoint after like ten minutes. Okay, so yeah, after all the shenanigans of uh, crazy, crazy season ten, like season eleven, I was a little bit less crazy about. If that makes any sense, because you know it was downtime, and you know I appreciate downtime more now because it's a classic blood gulch you know just reds and blues just yelling at each other across a box canyon whoopty fucking do and you know that's great and all but it was like initially i was like uh i wasn't really too down with the idea because i like stuff happening but now that all this stuff happening is over i was just like uh i'm depressed depressed because season 10's ending was just so good man <laughs> Would have been the perfect ending for the show, too. But it continued. And in exchange for that, we get one of the best, you know, story arcs in RVB. Where you get the Civil War on Chorus. And that was awesome. 14, though. 14, it was like, you know, an anthology. And, you know, I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. I really like Season 14 a lot. Because it had a lot of really cool stories. It had a lot of really cool stories, like the uh, Felix and Locust stuff. Like, you wouldn't even think that those episodes that would animate in, like, the Borderlands style uh, would be in the Halo universe, but it is. And that's awesome. And uh, one of my more favorite episodes, and one that I wish was uh, part of Project Freelancer, was uh, the Triplets episodes, and those were great. And then uh, you hit with you hit me with season fifteen, where uh, the blues and reds are the uh, antagonists. The uh, I guess we call it the original crew, the original original crew. I guess because they were the original really 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 stupid uh, guys. And yes, I know what I'm doing now. I know how to sniper. Because this game really, really teaches you how to snipe. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to do that yet. I want to keep on sniping, actually. Okay. Seems we're good. But yeah, uh, season fifteen. You hit me with that, and it was weird, man. It was really weird. I mean, I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it for what it was. And the most important, the most important thing was that it stayed within the realms of what RVB is, which is you know going on an adventure, but also you know you have those really guys, those guys being really being assholes and also really dumb. And of course you have Caboose, who is always the king, always. He's my king now. I don't care what anyone says. He's my king. And, you know, I thought season 15 was, it was weird, but it was still, 
enjoyable for me. It was still very enjoyable, and I really liked it, and I like it. I watched it a, f a few more times on my own time, and, you know, it was good. It was good. Oh, good. Prometheans. Great. My favorite. Probably, like, my least favorite, like, enemy type so far. <laughs> Because they're literally just skins. It, it reminds me of the Aurum. They remind me of the Aurum from Kid Icarus Uprising, where they literally just slap skins on, on uh, on the uh, Aurum. It's like you know, you have an Aurum Mono Eye, you have the the Aurum versions of the Forces of Nature. You know, all that stuff. Lovely, lovely, crazy things. Who's who has the uh? Who has the audacity and the balls? You do have the audacity and the balls. And then, RVB, because of what season 15 did, then you hit me with season number 16, where they introduce, for real, time travel and gods. And I'm like, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was, like, the weirdest part. Like, season 15 could have been, like, the epilogue of the show, I guess. But it wasn't. And then season 16, I like to dub the extras. Yeah, from now on, I will dub them the extras. Even though they're technically canon. They're still the extras. Um, season 16 has time travel. And me getting dead. Please, God, let me, let me, let me restart all the way back there. Yeah! Okay, I totally let out all my frustrations with that one scream. I have no more frustrations. I have plenty of them. See, this is what you get when you talk about season 16 and 17 of RVB. That has time travel, and it has gods, and it has, you know, probably one of the best character development for any character in the series. Um, no spoilers, but Wash, Donut, Carolina, the MVPs of the season. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say that. Yes, out of, out of 17 seasons, Donut is finally an MVP. <laughs> He's really good in that. I, I, I appreciate him in uh, that particular season or in that particular story arc. You know, the one that has all of the time travel and stuff. But yeah, it was a really weird... I have mixed feelings about that season. On the one hand, the premise of it all is just really, really dumb. But on the other hand, it has some of the better moments of the series in like a very long time. And I don't know, I honestly don't know what to think of that. But, you know, after time travel and gods, you probably just want a good stopping point for the main essential cast. And I'm like, okay, yeah, season 17, definitely a good epilogue to the cast. <laughs> I don't know if it was the right epilogue or the right choice, but, you know... If you're going to do that, then probably time to move on to fresh meat, fresh blood for the uh, writing staff. Yeah, definitely, definitely time for some writing from some new writing staff and some new characters and a new cast and new locations. So, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, you're gonna kill me. Yeah, I know it. Or not. Okay. That's cool. I don't want to just rush it or anything like that. Just wanna get... Oh yeah, cool. You don't even give me. You don't even give me a checkpoint for that. That's great. Yeah, that's awesome. You know how long it takes for me to get over here? Do you want to know how long? My recording's at like 38 minutes right now. 
38. Really. For real. 38. Heroic mode's kind of a drug. If only I had, like, a better, like, sniper thing. That would have been cool. Instead, I have to settle with... What? I have to settle with this. Here we go. Got him. I said got him. Yep. Hey, yep. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really don't like dealing with the Prometheans at all. Like, there's one negative thing I do have to say. Is that the Prometheans can go die. In a fire. And... Yeah. They can just die. And I wouldn't miss them. One... Single... Bit. I can commend them for doing something new. But the new just doesn't work for me. Nope, 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 nope. See, this is just gonna be... This is gonna be this whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna get the suppressor and just gonna do this. Where? Where? Oh. Okay. Definitely a terrible idea. Yes, terrible idea. Okay, I got one of the bootleg elites. Yeah, that will show them. That will show them. Nope! Nope! See, I'm still here. I'm still here. I can't. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't. Why are the grenades still here? How many grenades do they have? What even is a grenade? Oh, 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 I see. I see. Oh, oh mate, you got no sniper up there, mate. Yeah. Yeah, mate, you got no sniper up there. Yeah. Go die in the fire, mate. Yeah, wish I had another beam flare, mate. Beam flare. Beam rifle. Ah! Beam rifle. That's what I want. Okay. At least I'm... I'm, I'm at least... I'm a, 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 at, le at least... I'm like somewhere... Where I can confidently make a move. Don't want to risk it too much, though. Yeah, I know you're there. Uh, uh, come on, come on. What are you doing? There we go. That is more like it. Come on, man. Thief for free. Why are you evil with this? Why are you evil? Ooh, auto set. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where are you at? Okay, there you are. Cortana to infinity. We are entering the Forerunner structure. Breaking up, but coordinates received, Infinity. Okay, finally made it through that hell. Oh my god, what a shit show! But I guess that's what heroic is. The true power of heroic difficulty lies within me. Just playing it safe, playing it cool, playing it whatever. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not going to blame, you know, the game. I'm going to blame myself.
but I'm also going to blame the game because <laughs> checkpoints. <laughs> wow. It's going to be the hardest game I've ever done blind on the channel aside from Mega Man X. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys on next time. Thank you for watching.